Hey guys, so imagine you are a dog insurance company and you'd like to convert more visitors uh, into leads. Um, so a good way for this is to provide quality content to your uh, visitors. And you could, in fact, uh, with TypeBot, uh, create a sort of a simulator of what kind of insurance you can provide uh, to your um, visitors' dogs. So you could, in fact, ask question about your uh, visitor's dog and then automatically under the hood compute an estimated price that you can then use maybe to send an automatic email or just send uh, quality content to your qualified lead. So I've created a new template for this. Uh, it is called uh, insurance offer and let me walk you through uh, this bot. So like I said, we are computing um, a variable called estimated price uh, that we set to zero uh, when starting the bot. We are greeting the, the visitor and say, okay, let's determine what would be the best insurance offer you can have for your dog. And then we display just a single button uh, with the label, let's go. Uh, starting uh, the bot with a single button is a good way to attract visitors uh, to just you know start the experience. Um, whereas if you start the experience with a more tricky question like, okay, what's your email? Or if you ask contact information as a first question, uh, it will not likely perform at its best. So we are displaying a let's go button. Then we are asking for the, his, for his dog's breed. Um, then uh, what's uh, his dog's sex? And based on what he replied here, we can set a new variable with either uh, the value he or she so that we can then reuse this pronoun uh, later in the conversation. And that's a good way to personalize the experience. And also we are then displaying either what's his name or what's her name based on the previous reply. So when you have the chance, um, you need to try to customize the experience based on previous rep replies. That's always the best, best practice. It provides the best experience and then obviously it converts uh, more and that's our goal here. Then we collect the name and then we can save the name in a new variable and reuse this variable in uh, subsequent uh, bubble text bubbles. So then we can say how old is mm -mm, name. Then we can uh, display a picture choice uh, input. Each picture here will have a title. So the first one is less than a year. The second one is one to five years. The third one is five to 10 years. And the last one is above uh, 10 years. And based on what he's choosing here, we are bumping up uh, the estimated price. Obviously, if your dog uh, is old, your dog's insurance will be more expensive. And that's what we're doing here. Uh, then we are asking if he is or she is uh, sp spayed or nurtured. And obviously, if the user replies no, we also uh, bump uh, the, the estimated price. And then only then we are asking for uh, the user email so that he can receive uh, his personalized uh, offer. And that's the whole point here. Um, you, you first provide a great experience. You ask question uh, one step at a time. And only at the end you say, okay, uh, let me send you the best offer we could get for you uh, by email. So can you give me your email? And, and now you are at, at a point where you have a qualified lead and you can even on Tybot uh, automate things based on the estimated price. So you can send an email, you can maybe uh, send custom content. I don't know, you, you could do anything. Um, so yeah, let's see how uh, it looks now. So let me preview the bot. Hey, I'm John from Dogs. Let's determine what would be the best insurance offer you can have for your dog. Let's go. So what breed is your dog? Labrador. Is it a male or a female? We can say uh, a male. What's his name? Uh, Bo. How cute. How old is Bo? Uh, we can say one to five years. Is this paid uh, or nurtured? We can say maybe no. And only then, thank you for all this information. We can, you can, we can provide the best insurance for Bo. On what email should we send the offer? 
and then we display some by messages. So it's a pretty simple example that can be expanded and customized to your needs, obviously. So it's a template. It's available if you create a new type bot. You can say start from a template and it's called insurance offer. Uh, so yeah, feel free to play around with it and let me know uh, if you have any questions. Uh, and uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.